I only have three minutes, so I'm going to have to talk fast, and it'll use up your experimental cycles, so multitasking may be hard. Um, so 27 years ago, I got a traffic ticket that got me thinking. Uh, I've had some time to think it over, and uh, energy efficiency is more than just about the vehicle. It's also about the road. Road design makes a difference, particularly intersections, of which there are two types, signalized and unsignalized, which means stop signs. 50% of crashes happen at intersections. Roundabouts are much better. A study of 24 intersections have found crashes drop 40% from when you convert a traffic light into a roundabout. Injury crashes have dropped 76%, fatal crashes down 90%. But that's just safety. What about time and gas? So traffic keeps flowing, so that means less braking, which means less accelerating, less gas, and less pollution. Less time wasted, and that partly accounts for Europe's better efficiency than we have in the United States. So unsignalized intersections, meaning stop signs, they save many lives, but there's an excessive proliferation of them. The small roundabouts are starting to appear. Uh, this is one in my neighborhood, and they are much better. They're better than traffic lights, better than four-way stop signs. They're expensive to install, but they're more expensive not to, so we should look at that. But they're not applicable in all situations. So take, for example, the three-way intersection. So it's logical that you'd have one there on the minor road entering the major, but the other two are somewhat questionable. So here's a, uh, one, and there's another one which I studied. Their cars rarely appear on that third road. And so the question is, what does that cost us? That intersection I looked at had about 3,000 cars per day in each direction, and so that's two ounces of gas to accelerate out of. That's five cents each, and times 3,000 cars per day, that's $51,000 per year. That's just the gasoline cost. There's also pollution, wear on the car, and time. What's that time worth? Well. Uh, 10 seconds per, 3,000 cars, that's 8.3 hours per day, that's at average wage in the US is $20 an hour, that, uh, that is 60,000 per year. Add that together with the gas and it's $112,000 per year just for that stein in each direction. Discount that back to the present uh, at 5%, <laughs> over $2 million for a stop sign in each direction. Now, um, if you look at what that adjacent property is worth, you could, you could actually buy the property, cut down the shrubbery to improve the sight line, um, and, and then uh, you know, sell it off again, and you'd still come out ahead. So it makes one wonder, why is it there? I mean, why is there that stop sign each direction? Because if it's saving lives. So is there a better way to accomplish that goal? The answer is to enable cars to come in from that side road safely, because there are a lot of people who might live up there, and if they have to waiting forever, the long queue could form um, because the cars aren't slowing down on the main road. Can that be accomplished with existing signs? So there's a long history of stop signs and yield signs. Stop signs were invented in 1915, yield signs in 1950, but that's all we got. So why not use a yield sign? Well, the meaning of yield is you must yield the right of way. That means if there are five cars waiting, you have to wait till they all go, then you go. It lacks the notion of alternating or taking turns. And it's always on the minor road, allowing the major one to have primacy. So it's hard to create a new meaning for the existing sign. You couldn't suddenly tell everyone, OK, remember what you used to do at yield signs, now do something different. That, that would not work. So um, what the world needs now is a new type of sign. Uh, um, so, uh, you have a little instruction below it, you know, for those who didn't see the public service announcements, um, and it merges the stop sign and yield signs. It's kind of shaped like a T, as in taking turns, and um, uncertainty results in caution. When people come to an unfamiliar situation they don't know how to deal with, they slow down. So, now that you're all road scholars, um, <laughs> Don't wait for that sign to be adopted. These things don't change quickly. But you all are members of communities, and you can exercise your community influence to create more sensible traffic flows. And uh, you can have more impact on the environment just getting your neighborhood to change these things than by changing your vehicle. Thank you very much.